Hey there guys, it's Jason Master, and welcome back to the third episode of the Sims 4 Room Building Challenge. Today I am building a split level kitchen, dining and bar area. I am quite happy with how this design has turned out. What I was going with is sort of a rectangular shape with some cut out corners uh, just to add a little bit of uh, shapes to it, uh, make it look pretty specky. I was actually um, suggested uh, to build this uh, lot, uh, sorry, this room uh, by a fellow simmer. Um, she or he uh, commented on my YouTube video and suggested a split level kitchen similar in design to the bedroom I built a few days ago. Uh, so I went with that sort of theme. Uh, I used very similar colors and just sort of messed around with it. Uh, again, very happy with the finished product and you'll get to see some screenshots at the end. So make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end of this video. Uh, you get to see some pretty nice screenshots that I've taken using the in-game screenshotter. Screenshotter? Camera? Camera is the word I was looking for. So. I actually end up adding a little thing, uh, it's like a hallway on the upper floor just so uh, there's a way to get into the kitchen. Um, I thought it would be appropriate uh, to make give the illusion that like this is actually inside a, a house and not just a room by itself. But you can of course um, change it as you like when you download it. You have a few options uh, when downloading this. Uh, you can download the upper part of the kitchen, uh, so you can download the kitchen part. Uh, this does include the railing, doesn't include the stairs, uh, and it won't include the lower split level part, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, wouldn't let me include both of them together. Um, the other option is I've actually uploaded the entire house uh, to the gallery. Uh, so what it is, is it's just the room. It looks pretty blank. Uh, not many downloads on it so far just because it just the exterior doesn't look that great because literally all I've done is the interior room. So what you can do is you can download that and then you can use this split level kitchen and then you can add the rest of the house as you see fit. Um, it's a pretty big block, so it shouldn't be too much problems if you did decide to do it that way. Uh, but if not, you've got the single upper kitchen room as well, uh, which should do you nicely. So, like I was saying before, I went with a cream and brown colour, very similar to the bedroom design which I did in episode 1. If you guys are unfamiliar, this is a series I've been doing on my channel for a few days now and plan to do for quite some time. It's called the Sims 4 Room Building Challenge. What I do is I take your comment suggestions as well as uh, you can tweet me at JasonMazdaTweet, uh, any room suggestions you have. Uh, so you can send me requests and I will build them in the Sims 4. Now I don't build entire houses for requests. The houses that I choose to build are generally because I just open the game, mess around, or I've got a floor plan already in my mind. Uh, but for rooms, I'm more than happy to take requests, and it gives me a way to sort of interact with you guys, as well as to create something that hopefully um, at least one of you will really enjoy, and hopefully more. Um, and it's also really fun, and it's quite, uh, quite quick to produce a single room. Uh, I think this kitchen took me about 50 minutes to create. Uh, which might seem quite long, but in reality, some of the houses that I've built have taken several days, um, almost like 20 hours to build some of my Sims 3 houses. Uh, so it's not too long. I get to play the game. It's fun. And then editing, obviously recording the audio, and rendering is quite short as well. So I'm able to produce a lot more videos for you guys. Uh, which is something I don't do too often. I don't really um, upload very often uh, due to a lack of time and just other interests. Uh, but I have been really enjoying uploading lately, so I hope to stick to that as long as I can. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to let you know if there will be any gaps in my uploading. I'm trying to upload once per day. Um, so make sure you subscribe, guys, and then you won't miss anything. 
So I've added some columns to the sort of balcony area uh, just to make it seem more home-like. Uh, actually, when you zoom in, you don't see those columns, so they are sort of there for effect. Um, but they completely don't bother your sims, which is pretty cool. So this is the downstairs bar area. Uh, it's very similar design to the upstairs, upper stairs um, kitchen. So there's plenty of places to sit and eat, obviously. There's the bar area downstairs. Uh, there is the counter by uh, the oven in the kitchen. Uh, there's also a four-piece dining set uh, on the bottom floor as well. So if you have a dinner party or something like that, party with your sims, there's plenty of places to sit. Uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. You've got heaps of content in this split level kitchen. So this is what I was talking about before. This is the hallway that I created. So I created sort of like an L shape uh, hallway uh, going into the lower level a little bit. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It looks like something that you'd see uh, in sort of a normal house. So um, I actually end up adding like a foundation piece outside so you can uh, connect it to the outside or you can connect other walls. I'd actually really love to see what uh, creations you do do with any of my rooms or lots or anything like that. So you can send any of your creations to my Twitter which is at Jason Mazda Tweet um, or what you can do is you can even just comment in the comment section letting me know what you've been doing and if you'd like me to have a look at I'm more than happy to do that. would love to interact with you guys some more. Um, I'd also love to hear what you guys think of my room so far, especially this room. Uh, let me know if there's anything you think I should do differently, um, as well as if you have any uh, suggestions for what I should build next. Uh, I don't have an idea of what room I'm going to build next, so uh, leave your suggestions in the comments and I may pick one. Uh, you can be as specific or you can be as vague as you want. Uh, so you can say, like, I want a brown modern kitchen, or you can send a picture to me on the Twitter. On the Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. You guys also might notice that down on the bottom floor, it's a little bit dark. Um, it was hard to add lights, and it just sort of just went dark naturally, so wasn't really sure how to fix that up. If you have any suggestions on how to fix that up in my next, uh, next room, uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear. I added some wall lights and all these sort of clutter objects just to create this lived-in feel. Uh, I thought it really added to the theme of the house. We're almost finished with the building, just about to hop into some screenshots. Here is a shot from the sunken bar area looking up into the kitchen. And here is another shot just from a di different angle. You can see the hallway going out. Here is the modern themed kitchen. Uh, really nice colours in this. I also like how I've used the tiles uh, to sort of accent that it's the boundary into the kitchen. Here you can see a lot of the clutter objects that I've added. This is a very functional kitchen. Here's the oven which is sunken into the counter area. And here is a look from the kitchen as your sims would see it looking down into the sunken dining area. Uh, here is the dining area again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like and make sure you answer some of the comments that I have told you to answer in this video. Bye guys.